What's up everybody? Today we're on the road to go get my dream helmet. This is the helmet I've been dreaming of for the last three, four years, man, but can never afford. So we're on our way now, y'all. Hoy vamos a comprar el casco de mis sueños. Un casco que yo quería por tres, cuatro años, pero nunca podía comprar. Pero ya estamos en camino a comprarlo. Let's go, guys. Vamos. Alright y'all, we out here, there goes a the store right there, problem is, I guess I'm not allowed to park here with this big van, legally in Spain or something, so, doing some dicey stuff here, we're gonna try to cross the road, buy this helmet before the security, parking security comes. It's from LA, no? Yeah. All right, yeah. Beautiful, look at this thing. All right, get a compiler, y'all. Yeah. We got it, y'all. Now let's hurry up and get back to the van before we get a ticket. That's the fastest $800 that I ever spent in my life. We made it back, y'all. Let's see, let's see. All right, I think we're good. No ticket, no ticket. What's up, y'all? Back at the crib now. Oh. Check it out. Hey, no, mira como esta toda no, no puedes verlo. Like, no. <laughs> mira, no puedes verlo. Alright, y'all. So we got the helmet. Just showing as a work of art, y'all. I've always dreamed about this helmet, yo. Literally, no joke. I ain't even, you know, trying to pump it up or nothing. Check this one out. These actually, you know, became a little bit cheaper in the past couple years. I remember when it first came out and I wanted one, they, they wanted like a thousand euros or a thousand something dollars for it. I was like, dang, I ain't never get one of them joints. And now they finally lowered the price to so I think 800 something euros. We finally got it. Yo, look at this, look at the bag it comes in too. Look at this bag, yo. Forget my Nintendo Switch case. I'm gonna have to take this on the plane with me as my uh, personal item. You know what I mean? This one's delicate, valuable. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up for y'all so y'all can see what it look like. A better look up close. Cause when we was up in there, I was rushing. Now the reason being that, is because this is my last day in Spain. Tomorrow morning, I'm leaving to go back to America. And, uh, you know, as always, doing everything last minute, rushing. But we got the helmet, most important thing. Woo! Look at this, Jay. Yep. Oh, look, look, look. I put my little, you know, sticker right here, my little, you know, address or whatever. Y'all find this thousand dollar helmet in the street, ship it back to me, yo. It ain't y'all's. They got little things on the bottom, too. Look at that. That's cool. Let's open it up, y'all. Alright y'all, so we're gonna try the helmet on, but first, I gotta throw my do-rag on, y'all. I got a little fresh. But this thing's nice, man. All the little details. And uh, I was reading that uh, this wing right here is made for, you know, obviously, uh, what do you call that? The uh, aerodynamic. When the wing goes on the top of your head, you know? That's what this, is, this wing is made for, but when you crash, it's made to uh, just break off. Boom, this wing will break off. That way, you know... Your head doesn't get cranked any type of weird way or whatever. I mean, I've always wanted one of these joints, yo. I rock with Shark. I really I really like their helmets. Shark helmets are the only ones that fit me the best, 
you know, because I've had uh, other HAC and uh, AGV, AJV, whatever you call it, AGV, and, uh, you know, some other brands and built helmets and, you know, some cheap joints and some, you know, semi-expensive ones too, but, you know, all of them always like being kind of too much pressure on my forehead, little things like that, you know, or like I crash with it and get a concussion really easily and like it didn't feel, it feels really stiff on the interior. This thing feels like I could put this helmet on and I can go to sleep inside this helmet, man. That's how soft. I feel like a, like a Tempur-Pedic pillow on the inside. You know, I feel like if I crash, I'll I put, I put my head first because I know the helmet's going to protect me, you know. But dang, y'all. You know what's really cool about this too is that it came, it came with the uh, tin advisor. Usually you got to buy it separately. So that's cool. And, uh, but uh, I noticed my other visors don't have this and this piece right here is metal. That's dope. And the interior is red too, which is pretty cool. I say anything else about it, but wow, look at that, that mesh interior that honeycomb interior right there all right let's throw it on it's definitely brand new nice it fits perfect y'all nice and snug on my cheek check it out this sticker off now hold up i don't know how <laughs> yeah let's throw the uh tin advisor on see how it looks wow this shit looks vicious yo like you about to go on them tracking Tear it up, yo. The track is mine with this helmet. Woo! Only thing, up. Only thing I, thought I don't like is this sticker right here. I don't like this sticker. Why wouldn't you make it one of them easy stickers to peel off? They made it one of these stickers that you gotta keep on peeling and peeling and peeling. There we go. Dang, man. I don't like that. <laughs> but, uh, here, can you guys see? There's a thing in there that says filter. You can't see, but it's an arrow pointing up to that white thing right there. And that's like your filter for your mouth in there. For any bugs coming through your screen. I'm assuming. Or dust. Yay! Oh, look, y'all. Mm -hmm. 